Hey everyone, Tony George, DocSports.com, a Monday update, free NBA play coming your way, Martin Luther King Day, so that means there's basketball on all day long, college and pro, some good games, uh, Illinois-Purdue going to be a hell of a game in college, um, quickly today on Monday before we get to your NBA free play, Doc Sports, free 60 bucks, link in the description below, four unit best bets in college basketball, NBA and the NHL today, great NHL total for you today. And a three-unit pick in the NFL game between the Rams and the Cardinals tonight. Um, quick note on the NFL, not my weekend. I'm 100% transparent. I tell you like it is. We'll come in here and talk and kind of brag a little bit when we win. We'll tell you when we lose, too. Not my weekend in the NFL. I'm a sharp player. I like dogs. Dogs got dominated this weekend. Um, except for the Dallas game, there's no surprise. Dallas can't win a playoff game. You're not going to go very deep with McCarthy at head coach either. He's the most overrated head coach in the NFL. And by the way, let's call a quarterback draw. And by the way, I had San Francisco in a teaser, so I was all I was for San Fran. But and I was safe regardless. If they went down and scored and kicked a field goal, I still would lost by one, catching a big number. You know, adding on to the four. But San Francisco was a better football team. And vastly better coached. And I don't know what Zach Prescott's making all that money for. But how do you call a quarterback draw play with 13 seconds left on the clock with no timeouts? I mean, San Francisco did everything they could to hand them that game on a silver platter in the fourth quarter. And Dallas could not take advantage of it. With all that talent, C.D. Lamb, Cooper... Prescott, Elliott, Schultz, good tight end. You know, unbelievable. But anyway, it's some real. My boys won. Your free play won. First half line. Didn't need it. You could have bet the whole game. Um, a lot of scoring, which surprised me. I had the under in that for a top play. I thought it'd be a low scoring game. I thought Kansas City would hold them to 10 or under. I didn't know what Kansas City, rumor had it, if they got a big lead, they were going to. Pull a lot of people and arrest them. They got Buffalo on deck. Well, they had Mahomes chucking the ball all over the place late in the game. So, just a bad weekend for me. I'm pissed off about it. Wasn't my weekend in the NFL, tell you like it is. Uh, we'll bounce back, uh, get a little win tonight, and we'll have a great uh, round one here now that the wild card's over. And uh, that's what you got to pull yourself up by your bootstraps and do your homework. So, here we go. Uh, that being said, uh, today in uh, the NBA, Utah is taking on the Los Angeles Lakers. And let me get this freshed up line here since we're just sitting around being friendly and everything. Currently, I got Utah at minus four and a half, and I like them. Los Angeles is not a good basketball team. They're not. They're a middle of the pack basketball team without Davis. And I know they got LeBron James. And LeBron James is playing some of the best basketball he's played of the last three years. Doesn't make a difference. It's a mediocre basketball team against an elite team. Now, Utah hit the skids a little bit here uh, as, of re as of late. They've lost like four or five in a row. They had some injury issues, some COVID issues. It's going to happen. going to happen to everybody no matter how elite you are. You know, and Utah has another uh, systematic problem they need to take care of is they kind of tend to play to the level of their competition. Now, they'll be up for this game because everybody likes to beat the Lakers. Everybody wants to beat LeBron James, led team. But the Lakers, last game, they played Denver. They lost by 37 points. Last game Utah played, which was last night, they beat that very same Denver team by 23. The line's four and a half here. Now, usually I like to fade teams after playing in the altitude. The night before on back-to-backs, are going on the road and playing somebody decent, laying a number. That's an automatic fade spot. Except when your home floor is also in the altitude and you're used to playing in the altitude. Not going to affect them. Number one offense versus a number 27 defense. That is a mismatch. And that's what we have here with Utah against L.A. L.A. has allowed 123 points per game on defense their last five games. That is not going to cut it 
against the NBA's number one offense who will come in here with purpose. And the other thing, too, is Utah hits the boards. They're aggressive and they hustle. They're well coached by Quinn Snyder. They really get after it. Uh, L.A. doesn't. They're lazy. They're lazy. Utah, lay the four and a half over Dallas. You take the points out of it, you got to lay a buck 85, but I lay the four and a half, feel safe with it. Free play, Jazz, tonight, over Lakers. Enjoy your Monday.